Austin Matthews has now gone 13 games w- without a goal, but like last Thursday, had an open net and had it yeah. just just go over the crossbar. He's fourth in the National Hockey League in shots. So mm-hmm. it, it that alone's impressive. It's crazy that he hasn't been able to score with that many opportunities. I, I'm finding that I'll, starting to find it a little mind-boggling. I know people. You say, well, people are watching him. They, they're more focused on him because of his start, but <laughs> he's still getting the chances. You know, he's creating and he's getting the chances. And like most, you know what? How many guys, to be quite honest, don't go through as rookies? Don't go through a drought like this. I mean, well, so I'll tell you the stat. Producer Matt Brown came up with six of the last ten number one overall picks have endured a goal drought of at least 13 games. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're going to have stretches. You, I mean, when Connor McDavid can go nine can go nine games without... You want to get that? No, I don't want to get that. When can go nine games without a goal, you know, it's possible for a lot of guys to go that route. So I'm not... Uh, I wouldn't be worried about it, but you want to see him end it. Well, I mean... You want to see him end it. Yeah. <laughs> What's the worst case scenario here? He ends up with 12 goals, 15 goals, and people are going to sit there and say, not a good year for Austin Matthews. Like, 19 years old, he is the focus of every team they play against. Playing center on an all-rookie line. Not, as the number one centerman. Okay? He sees the top pairings. And in those 13 games, you still notice him. It's not like there's a disappearing act right now and there's an all-points bulletin out for Austin Matthews. But you understand so, why it's a story. I understand that it's a story. It would be much less of a story if he didn't score four goals in his first game. I can tell you that, too. Okay, that bar just that, that bar just set something up for him that unfortunately um, isn't the greatest thing to kind of manage on a well, daily just, basis. It created this this scenario where you're, you're showing his splits. And, right? And you're, it's just... The, he he may he he could come back and score 25 30 goals Darren he could he could score 12 this year right it's like 19 years old first year is just it's just way too much emphasis right now on uh, on him unfortunately not scoring and and don't think there's not a lot of emphasis still on him when you're game planning against him you're still focused on him because he's he's still creating and he's still a key guy T- teams go into it saying hey Matthews Marner, Nylander, got to know where these guys are. Mm-hmm. It's, it, for kids, you wouldn't spend as much time as I bet you most teams are spending on them. 